Hey guys, how's it going? Thad here with Iowa Budget RC. And today I'm going to bust out the Radio Shack Sonic Thunder, which is the cousin or clone of uh, the Tamiya QD Midnight Pumpkin. And uh, I don't run my pumpkin anymore because, let's see if I can show you here, uh, the upper part of the axle where the shock mounts on broke and uh you know 30 year old tamaya plastic is kind of brittle and uh, i was jumping it uh, like i shouldn't have been and it broke so uh i actually do have the parts to fix it and one of these days i will uh bust them out and fix that and make a video of it but uh, i'm gonna run the sonic thunder today and uh uh, running it on a small 3S LiPo. Uh, it's got the Hobbywing 1060 in there. And these were originally 9.6 trucks, so this had a 9.6 pack in it. And uh, what I do is I just mount the mount everything inside of there where the uh, in the tub, like because it's almost identical to this, where the uh, uh, stuff goes and. Uh, it works pretty well. Uh, I've never actually ran this thing on 3S, but uh, when you run it on 2S, it gets a little bit hot because these are meant to run on higher voltage, these uh, these motors are. Uh, this has a 380, I believe, in it, and a two-speed. And uh, the gears and the way the, the Radio Shack ones are set up, they're tougher than the Tamiya ones. The Tamiya ones really like to break uh, this, in fact, I've glued and fixed this one, and then I ended up finding some gears. Um, and I still think uh, high gear is messed up in this one. I'm not, I can't remember. It's been a while. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to take this thing out and uh, give it a rip, and I'll bring you along with for the ride. All right, guys, so since this is a uh, two-speed, I'm going to try it in low first and uh, see how she does. Does not like that. Let me tell you. you. Can hear it. Hear the gears skipping. Yep. So I'm gonna switch it back into high. Uh, it's too much torque for low on 3S. All right, here we go. It's on high and uh, on 3S. Is it a speed demon? No. But it sure is fun. problem I hit the brake and it uh, doesn't realize that it's got a brake and goes into crunch mode with the gears sorry about the couch we uh, took that out of the basement to uh, move stuff around and get rid of some furniture Just like a regular pumpkin, these things just bounce around. And I think my battery's dead. Well, I don't know what's going on, but uh, still got steering left and right, but uh, lost, uh, lost motor power. So I don't know if a uh, motor wire came disconnected in there, if I burnt the motor up or what, but We'll figure it out. I've actually been thinking about going brushless on this one anyway, so maybe we'll do that and uh, run it up against the uh, the pumpkin when we get it built, or the uh, lunchbox when we get it built. Well, I pulled the speed controller out and uh, everything looks fine on it and uh, the motor connections and everything. Uh, maybe I should directly solder these instead of using these stupid uh, heat shrink and uh, uh, solder connections. I don't know. Uh, the motor doesn't smell burnt, but uh, that doesn't mean that it's not. Um, it's just a little guy, and it's actually a 280 motor, not a 380 motor. And, uh, or, sorry, it's a 370 motor. Uh, I get these stupid numbers confused all the time because they, they all look pretty much alike. But uh, hooked it up to a 2S and I've still got my steering, but I've got 
Nin for throttle. Uh, I do really like these uh, cheap, uh, I can't remember the brand of them, uh, controllers off of Amazon. They are very comfortable in your hand. They, Even though they're smaller in stature, this part here is bigger. And uh, I can, I've got short stubby thumbs, toe thumbs, or as some people say, and uh, I can steer it left and right really good. Um, so yeah, I don't know what the heck happened there, but I'm uh, going to have to investigate that farther. Um, All right, I wanted to uh, include that uh, after I put the body on, get ready to put it back up on the shelf, it is locked up solid. Now, that tells me that the motor is locked up because if I roll it over to where the differential works, then uh, I can spin it freely from either side. But you try and spin both tires the same way, like it was moving forward or backwards. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, obviously, uh, that 30-year-old motor is not happy. And so, yeah. Just thought I'd include that. Uh, at least I know what's wrong with it, and uh, I'll have to make time to fix it. But anyway, I guess I'll call that a video. Uh, suppose I could bust out the uh, all original QD Blackfoot that uh, I bought myself for my birthday, but. I just hate taking this thing out and scratching it up. Every time I have, I've put uh, put marks on it and scratches on it, and uh, that kills me because, I mean, look at the underneath side of this thing. It's, like, perfect. And uh, I did scratch up the body some, and so that's, uh, I mean, that's what they're for in one, on one hand, but the rarity of this thing, you know, on the other hand is... Uh, uh, you know, I don't want to, uh, to ruin it at the same time, but, uh, anyway, I just wanted to have a little Tamiya play because, uh, I'm going to be building that lunchy here, uh, within the next, uh, week or so. So anyway, uh, stupid nitro all over my bench, uh, it, that thing's driving me crazy. And, uh, I did get the, uh, the paints for the uh, lunchbox and the body, the second body to do the Rolling Thunder and uh, also the barefoot body that I'm going to do for the Nitro. So anyway, uh, but they didn't have the bearing kit for the, uh, the lunchy, so I had to order that. But have a great day, guys. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And just remember, sometimes your RC adventures don't go as you want them to.